What's up you guys, welcome to Brookie. In today's video, I'm going to give you a simple beginner life hack that will change your calisthenics game. I promise. So let's say you have only one bar and that's the only thing you have for calisthenics to work out. And you want to do dips or you want to do negative muscle ups, but you're not able to get on the bar. So what you can do is either just try and climb up, but that would be like a very stupid and very time consuming task, as you can clearly see. Or you can just do a muscle up, but um, it's going to be very difficult. So that is why I suggest you do like a turn the bar. And for most of people, for most of you out there, you're probably familiar with turn the bar. It's just like you grab onto the bar and then you swing your feet over the bar and all of a sudden like boom, you're on top of the bar. And it seems like magic, but actually there's a little bit of physics involved. So let's take a look what's going on in slow motion and let's try to understand how we really have to do or perform a turn the bar. Okay, so as we're waiting for me to get to the bar, what I want you to know is that this move is completely momentum based. There's no strength requirements, almost whatsoever. So um, to begin this movement, you need a lot of swing. What I use is a little jump. So I stand a little bit further and I jump. Once you get that momentum to slam the bar against your hips and what this will do is you'll bend your knees on the way and it will flip your legs over the bar and then gravity will do the rest. One thing that's very important if you're a guy that it can be painful the first couple of tries. A friend of mine just learned it yesterday. He had it like in half an hour so you can do it better. I promise. So now let's take a quick look what you can do once you're up there. So now that you can add the turn the bar to your skill set, it's going to be very easy for you to get on the bar and just perform negative muscle ups or perform any kind of crazy stuff on top of the bar. It also exhausts you less than doing a muscle up each and every time, even if you get advanced, but that's just my opinion. So thank you so much for watching. I hope I helped you. I hope the explanation was good enough for you to understand everything and to put theory into practice. Also, um, don't forget to like this video if you liked it, subscribe if you will, and if you want to see more videos, definitely subscribe. You can hit the button here, yeah, there, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you for watching.